can't make this go away. <laughs> I don't understand. It won't go away. Okay, sorry. Uh, this difference is too complimentary. Yeah, that's kind of critical information. <laughs> Forget it. I'll just remake it. There we go. The difference of two complementary angles is 30 degrees. Find the measures of the angles. There's two angles we don't know because there's two complementary angles. Two angles we don't know. We'll call them X and Y. If they're complementary, all that means is that you can add them and they make 90 degrees. And they said the difference, that just means if you subtract them, it makes 30 degrees. So we're supposed to find these two angles. Well, we get two equations. It's already set up for elimination. Add the top equation by the bottom equation. x plus x makes 2x. And 90 plus 30 makes 120. Just add the top equation by the bottom equation to make the letter y's cancel out. So we just have to divide 2 from both sides. So x is going to be 60. And now if they both add up to be 90, then that means y has to be 30, right? You could find that by plugging in x equals 60 back into the equation. Uh, next one, the difference of two complementary So here's the same setup. The difference of two angles is 55 degrees. This one's really similar. They're complementary, so it means they add up to 90. So same setup there. Add the top equation by the bottom equation. So this one's just going to have a decimal answer. X is going to be... I'm just taking the same steps I did in that last one. X is 72.5, which means Y, if they're complementary, has to be 17.5. Now this one's different. A frame around a rectangular family portrait has a perimeter of 60 inches. So it's a frame. There's lengths. There's two lengths and there's two widths. The perimeter is adding up all those four numbers. So there's two lengths plus two widths, that equals 60. And the length is 15 less than twice the width. So here's twice the width, and we have to write it like this to make something 15 less than something else. you got to subtract the 15 away from twice the width. This one's set up for substitution. It's supposed to plug 2w minus 15 in for L. So 2 parentheses, 2w minus 15, that's in for L, plus 2w equals 60. And then we got to do the distributed property, multiply that 2 to everything. And then on the left side, we've already got w's. So the 4w plus the 2w makes 6w. Add 60 to both sides, so we get 6w equals 120 and then divide both sides by 6 to get w equals 20. And then you just need to plug that back in to find the width. So if you do that, 20 times 2 makes 40, 40 minus 15 makes 25. Wait a second, that doesn't make sense. Forty. Uh oh, something's wrong. Not seeing it yet. This is good. Two, uh, the two lengths plus two widths equals the perimeter of 60. The length is 15 less than twice the width, so that's good. Um, distribute the two. Oh my gosh, two times 15 isn't 60. Two times 15 is 30. So this would be 30. This would be 90. So the width is going to be 90 divided by 6. So that should be 15. Good thing I thought about that before I finished the video. So plug 15 back in here. 15 times 2 makes 30. 30 minus 15 makes 15. Let's see. That, that does work because if you plug those in, that makes 60. Okay, so 15 and 15. I just missed something with the distributor property.